if you're young at heart. And it could happen today as top-seeded Kansas must get by those miracle workers from North Carolina State. And as Navy looks to upend number one Duke. You can go to extremes with impossible schemes. We're on the final stage of the road to the final four. And good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jim Nance, along with Bill Raftery, back in New York. Coming up in just a short while, we'll have Navy going against number one Duke in the East Final. That'll be followed this afternoon by North Carolina State and Kansas for the Midwest Regional Championship. Now, yesterday we saw one of the underdogs do it as LSU was a winner over Kentucky. What must Navy and North Carolina State do this afternoon? Uh, Navy has to handle the pressure of the Duke guards, and of course, I think Washburn has to have a big game against Greg Dryling. All right, Bill. Of course, yesterday, the first two slots of this year's Final Four were filled. Down in Houston, Denny Crumb's Louisville Cardinals pulled away in the waning moments of the game against Auburn. And back in Louisville, there was a case of Saturday night fever. It's just a special team. We love you, Alabama. I couldn't make it, I couldn't make it to Houston, so that's their next best day. And the players told their fans what they wanted to hear. Y'all going to be there with us? And we're going to play as hard as we can to bring it back to Louisville. In the other regional final, Ricky Blanton of LSU capped an upset of top-seeded Kentucky. The Bayou Bengals were headed for Dallas, but last night they stopped off at home in Baton Rouge, where the faithful were waiting in mass. Only a glimpse of their conquering heroes contained these Tiger fans. And we'll continue on the road to the Final Four in just a moment. Road to the Final Four is sponsored by Yamaha. We make the difference. AT&T. In long distance services, information systems, telephones, and computers, AT&T is the right choice. And by Michelin. Michelin. Because so much is riding on your tires. And the East final between Duke and Navy about 15 minutes away. For Navy to continue its sneak attack on a final four bid, the midshipman will need yet another standout performance from junior center David Robinson. The player his teammates call the Sultan of Smooth. Watch for Robinson in the middle of the floor. Right there he is. Going for the game winner. He got it. Not only have they come to respect David Robinson in this NCAA tournament, they've come to fear him because he's dominating the game as few big men have. He's uh, a real legitimate shot blocker. He's big, he's got a good touch, runs the court well. He, uh, he's got a lot to learn, but not that much. I mean, he's, uh, he's very good. But it'll be a long time before David Robinson ever plays professional basketball. In this era of million dollar athletes and lifetime contracts, He's decided to stay here in Annapolis, pursue his education, and honor the five-year military commitment. You almost wonder why. I just wanted the security. I think I, last year I was I was in, I wasn't sure about how much better I would get. I, I knew I had a lot of potential, but I wasn't sure about how far basketball would go. And I, I like the academy, and I like the the way it's been treating me. And if he had left before this, his junior year began, thus bypassing the Navy's five-year military commitment for a shot at the NBA, who would have blamed him? He had already grown five inches since enrolling here, developing far beyond all expectations. Well, I thought he could be a great small forward, a 6'7", great athlete that could run up and down, could block shots, could rebound, and could shoot, because he was a pretty good shooter in high school. But obviously, in my wildest dreams, I never expected him to be seven foot tall and in a center for us. Over here on your left is a, a boiler. But basketball is only part of David's life. Although academy regulations state he has grown too tall for submarine duty or a career as a pilot, David will find other ways to utilize his math degree in the Navy. For the midshipman's mission is to prepare morally, mentally, and physically to be 